what's going on guys and today in this video I'm going to be teaching you adding polynomials now I've taken this math lesson in core one not long ago which was like in around three or three and a half months ago when I took this lesson which is this year in grade 10 and honestly I like math this year in grade 10 slightly better or somehow better than last year you know Last year, the math lessons, most of them were really complicated, but this year, it's not that complicated. And this is what I have for you guys. Alright, so let's get to this, shall we? Okay, so here, 5x power 2 minus 8x plus 1, the parentheses, and plus 2x power 2 minus 4x minus 11. Okay, what do you do here? Well, I'll show you. All you have to do, just remove the parentheses. So it would be... Everything be the same, of course. You don't have to change any numbers or anything like that. All you just gotta do is remove the parentheses. So 5x power 2 minus 8x plus 1. This right here. Plus 2x power 2. Minus 11. Okay, now, here what you're going to do is combine those two numbers. So either you add or subtract. So 5x power 2 plus 2x power 2, it's going to be 7x. 7x power 2 minus 11. And negative 8x minus 4x here. It's going to be negative 12x. Hopefully you guys can see. And negative 11 plus 1. It's going to be negative 10. And there you go guys. This is how you solve the polynomials by adding. So this is what it is. So 7x power 2 minus 12x minus 10. This is how you get it. Now parentheses. 4x power 2 plus 2x minus 5 plus 6x power 2 minus x minus 5. Of course, what do you do here? Again, remove the parentheses so it be like this. So it's 4x power 2. Plus 2x minus 5 minus x. Now, what do you do? Again, 4x power 2 plus 6x is going to be 10x. 10x power 2. Two x minus x. What do you do? It's gonna be x. Even though you minus, uh, even though you have negative x two and x, it's still gonna be positive x. By the way, just so you know. So keep that in mind. And next, negative five minus five. Now don't get confused here negative and negative you still minus it so if it's negative 5 and negative 5 it's going to be negative 10 don't get confused if it's negative 5 and plus 5 you just cancel it but this one is negative so it's going to be negative 10 and there you go one more question 6x power 2 minus x minus 4 Plus 2x power 2 plus 5x minus 5. Okay, so 6x power 2. Well, I'm going to show you one more time so you know what I mean. All you're just going to do, like I said, remove the parentheses. Okay, 
So, 6x power 2 plus 2x is going to be 8x power 2. And 5x minus x is going to be still positive 4x. And negative 5 minus 4, it's going to be, yeah, negative 5 minus 4, it's going to be negative 9. There you go, guys. Now I'm going to briefly explain to you on how you solve adding polynomials. Okay, so here, when you have those parentheses like this and the positive, all you have to do, first you remove the parentheses. And then, and then you add the numbers by order. So for example, you got 5x and 2x, power 2, you add them first. And you have to order them by, by x power 2, like quadratic x and then and then constant this is how it goes here all you have to do is sort out those numbers like this you add them and add or subtract either way whatever you get and that's it you'll get the final answer like you see here and this is how you solve adding polynomials so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that was nice that i got to solve with you one of the math lessons that I've taken in grade 10. And honestly, I love solving math and especially, you know, this year in grade 10 in, in the first and second quarter, I really enjoy it. So if you like this video, please leave a like. Of course, that'd be really great if you leave a like. And I'll of course try to do more of those math videos in grade 10 in the near future. So stay tuned for those to come. Alrighty guys, so I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.